Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. This Saturday on November the 14th, I'll host a Gyrocopter Buyer's Guide webinar that will cover all the models of the popular Magni and Auto Gyro brands. We will discuss performance, living with the aircraft, sales and service, and of course answer all of your questions. A link to how to join us is in the description. November hasn't been a very good month for accidents, with very sadly three fatal accidents in the first few weeks. On the 4th, an MT Sport crashed and killed pilot and passenger in Kansas, USA. There's no news on the cause, but the accident wreckage was found crashed into a field. The pilot, airline transport rated, but believed to be relatively new to sport gyroplanes. The NTSB will no doubt provide further colour in due course. A day later there was another fatal accident in the Philippines where a 65 year old pilot crashed through an airfield boundary fence shortly after takeoff before coming to rest in this coconut plantation. Before news today, the 12th of November, we have a very sad news to report from the highlands of Scotland where an autogyro Cavalon crashed and burnt out in the UK, killing its pilot. The AAIB have been sent to the scene and maybe I'll have more information by the time we see each other on Saturday, but early information is the pilot was inexperienced. Either way, it's been a very sad few days for many people, and condolences from the channel. My last film caused a lot of reaction, where the focus is upon the harshness of the commentary, and this month simply proves that aviation is a very tough mistress, and even simple mistakes and errors, along with inexperience, are punished severely. The global virus has affected many people's flying activities in 2020 and as we start to emerge from inactivity it is vital we reconsider our skill set not just our ability with stick and rudder but also skills around flight planning and of course the aircraft's health following what may have been longer than normal storage. Firstly seek advice of a local instructor or seek advice of someone of experience and to that end I'm starting a pilot buddy system. It's going to be a simple tool that pilots can contact us and we'll do our best to connect local experienced pilots to those who are seeking help and guidance. So if you are an experienced gyroplane pilot and would like to be contactable or you're a new pilot seeking help please email me via the channel or the address in the description. Keep flying safely and I hope to see you on Saturday.